Linear patterns can be used to quickly repeat geometry in a model. To access linear patterns, go into the Features tab and select the Linear Pattern option. And then your initial selection can be either a direction, or if you click on a feature, it'll automatically populate into the Features to Pattern box. Along with this Cut Extrude 1, we'll be selecting out the fillets. And then I'll go ahead and select a direction by clicking into the direction box and choosing this back line. In this case, we're going to use a spacing of 2 inches and an instance count of 4. In the linear pattern itself, you also have the option of reversing the direction of the pattern. And you can see at the bottom as well, there's two options, full preview and partial preview. These will allow you to see if the linear pattern is going to complete and what it looks like. I'll go ahead and click OK to complete the pattern. And if we look from above, we can see that the pattern retains the through all end condition used in the cut extrude one. If we go back and edit the linear pattern, there's an option called geometry pattern. If we look from the side and you compare what the full preview and the partial preview look like, the partial preview actually shows what a geometry pattern should look like. If I do click the geometry pattern option, that's what generally should complete. In this case, if I click OK, the pattern is actually going to fail. The reason for this is that this bottom face is removed on the first instance, but not on the other three, so it can't complete that pattern. So if we exit out of here and edit our cut extrude one, and change the end condition to offset from surface. We'll go ahead and choose the back face and set an offset of an eighth of an inch. Now if you go back into the linear pattern and select the geometry pattern option, that should now complete. And if we take a look at it from the side with a section view, choosing the top plane. We can see that the geometry was copied over directly regardless of what the rest of the model geometry looks like. Once again we'll go back into the linear pattern, uncheck geometry pattern, and once again take a look at that with a section view. Now you can see that it retains that offset end condition of an eighth of an inch. Going back in the linear pattern, there's an option to pattern in a direction too. So we'll go ahead and select the perpendicular direction and choose an offset of one inch. And we'll choose to create two instances. And you can see that patterns over the first direction, all four entities. Underneath the instances, you can see an option for pattern seed only. If you click on that, it'll actually pattern just the features rather than patterning the entire direction one. Go ahead and uncheck that. And lastly, there's an option called instances to skip. If we click inside the selection box, it allows you to remove any of the instances from the pattern that you so choose. If we click OK, we can see the result of that. Going back into the linear pattern, I'm going to go ahead and delete out the skipped instances, and then delete out the two direction edges. And I'm going to change the direction one to this front edge. Set the spacing to one inch, and I'll reduce the instances down to two. Now for the direction 2, I'll choose this back line, flip the direction, and now we have that pattern on both sides of the part. If I click OK, the linear pattern will actually fail. The reason for this is that pattern seed option. If I change out the spacing of the direction 2 to 1.1, 1 .1, 
you'll notice that it's trying to replicate that initial feature onto itself, which is impossible. So if you choose the pattern seed only option, it'll remove that extra object and we'll click OK and that'll finish the pattern.